Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking Minecraft textures and placing them into Blender. And I also want to just disclaimer that uh, I don't own any of these textures, these are all Minecrafts and we're just using them for the purposes of learning. So if this in in interests you, and I hope it does, uh, this should be lots of fun. So you can pull in any of the textures, I just have the dirt textures right now in here, um, but this works with any of the textures and the texture packs that you will get, um, they have all the texture packs in there, or all the textures for all the blocks in there. Cool. Okay, so first off, to do this, you need to go on the internet and type in Minecraft Vanilla Texture Pack Download. And there will be a link to CurseForge where you can find the vanilla template. Just go in there and click Download. That is the download for the vanilla um, Minecraft textures, which will give you this. You're just going to extract it and go in here. And you'll see that there's all these things in here. These all, all of these. What we need is the textures. And now all of these are textures, but the main, or, main ones we're going to be working with are the blocks. So for example, um, I'm just going to go to the dirt ones. Oh, there's lots in here. Uh, dirt, 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 dirt. Dirt. There's a top, there's a side, and there's the dirt bottom. So, or just the dirt of the whole blocks. So let's just jump right into it. Go ahead and get that downloaded. You'll need that for any of this to work. So we're going to use just a block, you know, default cube right here. Hit hit one. I'm going to go in here, turn on my screencast key so you can see. And I'm going to make this the size of one because this is actually the size of four. So we're just going to take this, hit S, scale it in half, and then move it up by one. Okay, really cool tip. You'll want to use this whenever you're working with Minecraft blocks in Blender. If you hit G and hit Control, it will always snap to the nearest block. And you can always right click to go back to the same spot. So that will help in placing your blocks where you want them to be. Okay, so let's go in. Let's just start texturing this up. So let's go in here, click on Shader Editor, and we're also going to want to drag this open to get to the uh, UV Editor. Okay, now what we need to do, let's start by opening up uh, the image texture. So go down here in the Shader Options. Make sure that this has a new one. If it doesn't have a new one, click new and then drag color to base color. I'm also going to make sure I'm in Eevee and turn on this. This works in Eevee or uh, cycles. So this is great. Go into the image texture, hit open and go navigate to the uh, folder. So this is my folder for Minecraft. I'm going to go in here to the texture pack that I extracted, hit assets, Minecraft. Then go to textures, block, and then once you're in here, uh, just type in dirt. And it will siphon through all these pretty easy. Click on dirt. Now you can see it doesn't look anything like what we want, and that's okay. We're going to go into edit mode, hit U, and unwrap. And it didn't do anything, and the main reason why I want to do that is to show you what this does. So this unwraps the cube in this way. The problem with this is that's not the way that Minecraft works with that. So what we want to do is we want to go to the front view and make sure that you're in solid or rendered and then just click on those front four. So you, you shouldn't have the back four selected. Hit U, project from view bounds, and that will place it just like that. And you're going to want to go all the way around doing that with all of them. So you can do one is for front, uh, sorry, three is for the side, Seven is for the top, so let's do that one. And then control one is for the back. And then hit control three for the left side. And, and then control seven for the bottom. So now if you look around, you actually have a cube that is looking fairly good. Okay, first problem I notice is whenever you get the light, it's too shiny. So let's go in here and turn down your specular. Uh, turn down, or turn up your roughness. Yeah, that's already looking a lot better. So that's kind of like what Minecraft does. They just make it really rough and uh, not very specular. Second problem is, is this is anti-aliasing. We want it to look crisp just like this. So what you have to do is click here, linear and closest. It's just a different type of interpolation. So yeah, that's the easiest way to do that. And we actually have a dirt block that you can then shift D and then move around. I'm going to delete that one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit shift D 
duplicate and move one over here. Let's make this one the the more complex dirt, the one that has grass on the top and the grass along the sides. So this one's a little bit more complicated. However, if we take this one, we already have the, uh, it's already unwrapped correctly. So what we can do is we just need to place the textures in the right way. And it does get a little complicated, but stay, hang in there with me. So first thing we need to do is we need to recognize that there are three different textures. So I'm going to duplicate this three times and then realize that there's a three on these. So click on the three on both of them. So now each one of these are not instanced, but actually duplicated and we can change each one of them independent of each other. Uh, next, we want to mix RGB each one of these. So it's gonna look something like this, where we select each of the different dirt images. So I'm gonna do dirt, um, let's do the side there. Uh, let's make this one top. Uh, right there, and then we just need to connect the lines with these. So the top I'm going to place here, um, side and bottom, something like that. Okay, so now we do have them slightly mixed, and uh, but it's not working. Also, something else that I did that I forgot to tell you: this three we should have unchecked. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to go back, click on this one, and just take your dirt and drag it back into the base color. Yeah, that one's fixed now. The problem was is we, for this one, we accidentally, because these were instanced, we changed this one on accident, but that's an easy fix. So we can go back to that. Okay, come back into this image and we have to do a little bit of trickery with this one. There's a lot of ways to do this. I have found that this is the, the another way and it'll add, it'll add to your arsenal of tools. Okay, so now let's click on this viewport shading mode and then click up here on object and go to vertex paint, hit N and make sure this is black. Now if you try drawing you won't see anything happen and it's because you don't have any vertex uh, vertices selected. You can also select between the two of these. I like to work with the vertex selection because this is vertex paint. So I do that, hit A and you'll see all the points are selected. Now you can draw on them. So let's make this one the top. So click on the top and make it black. Okay. And then I'm going to name this top. Okay. Now add a new one. And we're now going to, let's just take those off and paint the bottom. And we have that all black now. And so just name that one bottom. Okay, so now in here, there's a really cool trick. You can come hit Shift A, add a attribute, and you can drag the factor down into this factor. So now let's go out of uh, vertex paint and just go to object mode. I'm gonna click on rendered and let's put in the attribute name for our vertex color. So this one is gonna be top and you can see that our top is in there. Now the problem is it's also kind of coming in here. So shift A, search color ramp. There we go. And drag it into that. Now if we just drag this white down closer to the black, it just puts it just on the top, just like that. Okay, now all we have to do is just duplicate those and take the color and drag, drag it into the factor for this one. And you can see that it, it did the opposite. So, well, it placed it over the whole thing. And I think it's because these actually need to be flipped here. Yeah, yeah, that's looking better already. Um, now, all we have to do is take this and let's put the white on the left side. And then, there we go, just like that. Now you can see we have a little hiccup right here. If we come in here, it's because we select these points um, and we go to our dirt side. The points for some reason don't go to the top, so all you have to do is just move that down and it'll fix that for these ones. Cool. So now we have a Minecraft with Minecraft block with grass on it. So now we can take this glass or grass and uh, just go add modifier array, increase it for as long as we want. And we can also do the same thing by adding an array again, like this. Oops, let's just put that to negative one and we can do that same thing. So now you can play with this and 
This will work with all, all of the blocks. I would also recommend getting rid of this light and adding a environment texture. And you can get HDRI Haven has textures for free that you can use and I recommend them. So I'm just gonna plug in one that I have. And then something I noticed is some of the HDRI from HDRI Heaven are too uh, bright. So all you gotta do is come here to the world and just turn it in half. And then it becomes pretty close to what Blender's colors are. So I hope that you've liked this tutorial. Um, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you don't like it, also, you know, leave that thumbs down if you don't. But uh, see you next time on Blender Know How. Thanks. Bye.